morning is broken. Morning is broken. It is, uh, it's about October. It's either the very last of September or the first of, I don't know. It was close. Uh, we had a hurricane down where I live. Power outages and stuff. So we decided to come to Cedar Town. And uh, apparently it's rained a pretty good bit here because the water is up. Last time I was here, it was down. Now it's full pool in this creek that I'm in, in Mud Creek. So I'm gonna try to see if I can catch some fish, guys. Why not? While I'm here, while in Rome, catch crappie. First fish on a jig. Okay. Let me bring it. All right, I'll get that out of there. You can see him pretty. Something's happening. Ooh. Not bad. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is more the size I'm interested in. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Let's do it again. Let's get this little minner. The first one was on a jig. And there's like practically zero wind right now. So I thought, you know what? Well, I'm just kind of sitting here. Not having to get the anchor out and stuff. Let's try. Our minners. Minners. And that wasn't no little bitty tap tap. I mean that one hit it and went pulled straight down. See out here that baller's not moving around. He's not acting nervous. But when I threw it more really closer to the Pilings, they acted a little wacky, but I'll throw it right there. I know there's a brush pile right there. Something popped out. There it goes. Ah, another one. Pretty decent. Feels right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Another one. Take it easy, take it easy, my friend. I want to be friends with you. I don't want to be at odds. There he is. Pretty black crappie. Nemo, you okay? No, he's uh he's passed. Alright, let's get his metal. Oh, you know what? That guy fooled me, he's swimming off. Man, them minnows. They are liars. They were lying. They're like dead. Water temperatures. Water temperatures. Right at 70 today. It's crazy how much they'll move. It really is. But you want them to be able to move because that's more natural. That's more attractive oh, to the crappie. Uh -oh. Yeah, he really worked up now. Pull the bobber a little bit. So I can get him. Okie dokie. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at him. Dang it. <laughs> That's a good fish, man. <sighs> well, that's what I get for trying to pull him up. Best one of the day. Hadn't had any other bites over here on this bridge. This is a different bridge than I was at a while ago. I was, uh, had one bite and I missed, and then that one. 
but they're right there together so maybe I'll be two fish right there maybe I hope so that was a nice one what's so funny is when I got him up there on top of the water and that hook pulled loose he just laid there on the ground on the ground I mean he just laid there in the water he didn't lay on the ground man we're gonna talk about acting up now that man was all over the place Pilings. Right in there. Mm. Good job, Chris. Come on, bro. It's up. What is up? <sighs> Guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, how? That was a good fish. I mean, I just lost that good one. I need to get a grip over here now. This old spot is whipping me. I have missed three fish. Three. Three. One of them I'll blame on my sister. She called me on the phone and I was talking on the phone. So I'll blame that first one on, I mean that last, well, the next to the last one. I can't blame anybody for that very last one. This is straight up me. gonna fool me now if I had a net okay. I man I do have a net it's down in the in a place that nobody knows in this boat okay now let's see if I do it again apparently you fish right there I threw the minnow back out there this time because the last time I thought the minnow was dead when I caught a fish. I threw the minnow in the water. He swam off and waved at me. So I decided this time I didn't want that to happen. These fish started acting right. I'm tired of their foolishness. I'm tired of their foolish ways. I think if I'd caught the ones I'd missed, I'd been in real good shape. But yeah, my sister really messed me up there. We got a we got a dysfunctional family. We got uh, my sister. She's an Alabama fan. She's married to a Tennessee fan. She got a brother, that'd be me, that went to Georgia. A daughter that went to Georgia. And I grew up Alabama, but I switched. I mean, I don't know. I still like Alabama. I'll be honest with you. I like them both. I know that's crazy. So that makes me dysfunctional. But it's because of my family. I mean, if I didn't grow up and among all that craziness. <laughs> Seriously, when, when we have a family reunion, 
man we got we got three or four tennessee people we got three or four alabama people two or three georgia people i mean it's like a it's a lot of fun yeah but you know what we can all agree on thank the lord is that we all hate auburn <laughs> but i do have one cousin there's always that one cousin you know that's kind of out there that's an auburn fan I don't know how. I, I really don't know how he came up on being an Auburn fan. I think he just did it just to be, you know, you always got that one that just wants to be different from everybody else. And I think that was kind of his way of protesting. It's like, you know what? I'll just be an Auburn fan. Mm. That's a hard price to pay to be different. I know that. He didn't go to Auburn. There's another pretty decent little guy. Okay, come here to me. Come talk to me. Come visit with me a second. Just me and you. We'll spend a little time together. A little special time together. With each other. Just kind of getting to know each other. All right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, buddy. I believe in you, little minnow. Little minnow. Go right there. You don't have to do anything special. Just be a minnow. Just be yourself. I like to encourage minnows and people just to be themselves. Yeah, we were supposed to have a tournament down there this weekend. My saltwater club. I didn't even fish. I just didn't like being at home with no electricity. When we could come up here and stay in the apartment at her dad's house in Cedar Town. And, uh, you know, have electricity. There's a lot to be said for warm water and cool air. Ooh, this guy's going crazy. And they are super frisky today here. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Uh oh, I think he swallowed the hook. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut that. Time to go, spring. My friendly crappie. Dang it, I've got my line twisted around the end of the pole or something. And this is a good fish. So, I think I'm all, that's the problem. I'll just pull him up here. I'll just pull him up here, how about that? Huh. Okay. Problem solved. Dang it. Problem not solved. Day, I believe. How pretty that guy is. He knows how to pose. I can't even turn this tail. He's been caught before. He's been coached up. He knows how to look good. Okay. Let's see if I can get another bite right there. That was a good one. He slammed it now. There wasn't no picking around with him. Man, that one went, it was gone. 
it was gone. You made another and you were gone. That kind of gone. That's the kind of gone that he was. G O N E gone. Run off. R U N O F T. Run off. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I've caught some fish. Not a bad day. Got some minutes left so I can go in the morning and uh, maybe I'll have some kind of day I had today. I don't know. It's supposed to be a chance of rain this afternoon too. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching out here on Weiss Lake in northeast Alabama. <laughs>